Just like the ancient tale of Cain and Abel, the first two brothers destined for a tragic end, so too are the Milky Way and Andromeda, the first two galaxies humanity came to know. But in this cosmic story, one doesn't simply betray the other, it swallows it whole. They are not enemies. They are siblings born from the same cosmic dust, shaped by the same gravitational forces. Each is massive, ancient, and beautiful in its own right. The Milky Way, our home, and Andromeda, our twin, larger, heavier, moving fast and silently toward us. We watch it now, shining in the night sky as a faint smudge of light. But it is not where it appears to be. As a time ghost, a 2.5 million year old image, still moving, still falling. In roughly 4 billion years, they will collide. A silent dance, a gravitational war. Stars will be flung across space. Black holes will spiral inward. And our galaxies, as we know them, will cease to exist. So what happens when the two largest things we've ever seen crash into one another? Let's begin the story. From a distance, Andromeda and the Milky Way appear like cosmic cousins, both elegant spiral galaxies, each spinning silently in the void. But look closer and the differences reveal themselves. The Milky Way is home to around 200 to 400 billion stars. That's already hard to fathom. But Andromeda dwarfs it, with over 1 trillion stars lighting up its structure. It's not just more crowded, it's also larger, stretching 220,000 light years across, compared to the Milky Way's 100,000 to 150,000. Yet, the structure is familiar. Spiral arms, glowing with star formation, and dust lanes spiraling into a dense galactic core. At the heart of each lies a supermassive black hole millions of times the mass of our Sun. Surrounding both galaxies are small satellite galaxies, cosmic companions locked in orbit. The Milky Way has at least 50 known ones, including the Magellanic Clouds. Andromeda? Over 20, such as M32 and M110. Despite the distance, these two giants are gravitationally bound on a slow-motion collision course. Together, they form the dominant members of the local group, a cluster of over 50 galaxies. They are not just neighbors, they are future co-authors of one of the most spectacular events in the history of the universe. What if everything you saw was already gone? When we look up at the Andromeda galaxy, we're not seeing it as it is, we're seeing it as it was 2.5 million years ago. That's because light takes time to travel. The photons entering your eyes tonight began their journey when early humans were carving tools out of stone, long before we even imagined galaxies. So whatever's happening in Andromeda right now, new stars forming, stars dying, black holes merging, we won't see it for another 2.5 million years. In a way, astronomy is a form of time travel. Telescopes don't just look into space. They look back through time. When we study galaxies, we're reading ancient history written in starlight. It's humbling and haunting. We can never know the present, only the past frozen in the speed of light. The Andromeda you see tonight may be very different now. But in this cosmic delay lies one of the most mind-bending truths of the universe. The farther we look, the older the story gets. For most of human history, we believed the Milky Way was everything, the entire universe. All the stars, all the light, all that was existed within our own galaxy. But in the early 20th century, that belief shattered. Astronomer Edwin Hubble peered through the Hooker telescope and studied what was then called the Andromeda Nebula. Using a type of star called a Cepheid variable, he measured its distance and found something astonishing. It wasn't just far. It was far beyond the Milky Way. This so-called nebula was an entire galaxy millions of light years away. It contained billions of stars. And if one existed, there had to be more. That single revelation didn't just expand our understanding. It expanded the universe itself. Literally. Andromeda became the first confirmed galaxy outside the Milky Way. What once seemed like the whole cosmos became just one island in a vast ocean. And the universe? It got a lot bigger, a lot faster. The future is already in motion. Right now, across the great gulf of intergalactic space, 
A cosmic titan is moving toward us. Fast. The Andromeda galaxy is headed directly for the Milky Way at over 110 kilometers per second. That's more than 400,000 kilometers an hour. A silent, unstoppable drift through the dark. The estimated time of impact? Roughly 4.5 billion years from now. Long after Earth's oceans have boiled away. Long after the sun has bloated into a red giant. But in cosmic time, it's practically tomorrow. What happens when two spiral galaxies collide? Not what you might expect. Despite their scale and chaos, galaxies are mostly empty space. So, while the stars will not crash into each other, their orbits will stretch, twist, and reorganize. Gravitational tides will pull stars into vast loops and waves. Our solar system may be flung into the outskirts or drawn closer to a new galactic core. At the center of this new galaxy, two supermassive black holes, one from the Milky Way, one from Andromeda, will begin an inevitable spiral dance. Their orbits will tighten, and after millions of years, they'll merge, unleashing titanic gravitational waves across the universe. The shape of this cosmic union, likely an elliptical galaxy, swollen and glowing, a stellar graveyard with little new star formation. Astronomers have already coined the name Milkomeda or Milkdromeda. From Earth, if any observers remain, the night sky will become a panorama of blazing arms and colliding light. Over centuries, the familiar constellations will warp and vanish, replaced by spiraling arcs of galactic debris. For now, it's a distant future, but the trajectory is certain. Two ancient giants, one fatal embrace. Billions of years from now, long after the first stars of today have faded, the collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way will finally reach its cosmic climax. The two galaxies, locked in a slow gravitational dance, will spiral around one another, merging over the course of several billion years. The result? A new galaxy, likely elliptical in shape with a golden, hazy glow, possibly called Milkdromeda. During the early phases of this merger, there will be fireworks, bursts of new star formation, ignited by the violent collisions of massive gas clouds. But like all things in the universe, even this surge will eventually slow. Over time, the new galaxy will become older, quieter, colder. And what of Earth? By then, Earth may no longer exist. Long before the galaxies fully merge, our own sun is predicted to expand into a red giant, swallowing Mercury, Venus, and likely Earth itself. We will not see the end of the story, but the story will go on. Still, the effect of this galactic union will ripple outward. It will define the future landscape of our corner of the cosmos. New stars, new systems, new paths. The skies above any surviving worlds will be unrecognizable, filled with twisted spirals and arcs of stars stretching across the horizon. The night will glow with the remnants of this ancient collision. We won't witness it, but the collision is already in motion. The universe doesn't rush. It remembers. The universe isn't violent. It doesn't rage or hate or destroy out of anger. It just obeys gravity. Out in the silence between stars, immense forces pull and tug, slowly, steadily, unfeelingly. The Milky Way and Andromeda are on a path toward collision not because of destiny but because of motion, because mass bends space and gravity makes the rules. From where we sit, clinging to this small blue world, the thought is humbling. Two galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars, set to collide. And we, a species less than 300,000 years old, figured this out by studying the light of ancient stars. On Earth, we fight over lines on maps, over beliefs and power. Yet above us, Galaxies are dancing, merging, reshaping one another with elegance and silence. There will be no explosion when Andromeda meets the Milky Way. No sound, no scream. Just the slow blending of stars across billions of years. Just the laws of physics unfolding at a scale far beyond us. And still we watch. We imagine. We reach out with telescopes and theories not to control it, but to understand it. Because in a universe that doesn't care, the act of caring, of observing, learning, wondering, 
might be the most human thing we do. And perhaps that's what matters most. Not that the galaxies collide, but that we noticed. Two galaxies, once thought to be the entirety of the universe. One, our Milky Way, home to everything we know. The other, Andromeda, our distant twin, mysterious and silent. Now, we know they are just two of hundreds of billions, yet they are destined to meet in a cosmic embrace. Not with the violence we might expect. Stars won't crash, planets won't shatter. But over billions of years, their shapes will warp, spiral arms will entangle, black holes will merge. A new galaxy will form, and the sky as we know it will never look the same. We are alive in a rare moment. A moment between the beginning and the end. A moment when we can still look up and see both galaxies, brilliant, separate, distinct. We are witnesses to a universe in motion. Let that sink in. We are watching the prelude to a galactic symphony that will unfold long after we're gone. The stars won't collide, but everything will change. And maybe that's the most beautiful thing about all of this. If this journey made you feel smaller or somehow more connected to everything, subscribe for more stories from the cosmos. Drop a comment. If you could live long enough to see the Milky Way collide with Andromeda, would you want to? There's so much more out there, and we're just getting started.